All right, so we have two different styles of salt meters. The first one's a digital one, which I prefer because it's just easier to manage and use. So I'll show you exactly how this works. So I take the cap off. You can see it has these probes on here for uh, detecting the salinity level. And then you have a button for the on off to read and another button to switch between percentage and parts per thousand. Personally, I like to use parts per thousand just because it's easier because the decimal is after the number. And sometimes if you put the decimal before the number, say 3.0 3 parts per thousand, it's easier to tell somebody than saying 0.3%. So I like it just for the sake of easy. So turn it on, it starts flashing like zero. And you can see up in there, it's, it says parts per thousand. If I hold that button down, it'll switch. So you can see the decimal points moved and the parts per thousand icons disappeared. So I'm gonna put it back to parts per thousand like that. And then while it's flashing, that's when it's taking a reading. So what you wanna do is stick it in the water just past like the probes and kind of shake it gently back and forth. So you get any air bubbles dislodged in there. And then you hold it until it stops flashing. And as you can see, we're at 2.9 parts per thousand. So now with this hydrometer style meter, it has a little channel where you submerge it in, the water comes up and fills in here and fills this chamber. And this float is certified by, I guess Kyoden makes these to be uh, calibrated appropriately. So you can hold it by this little convenient handle here. Just stick it down in there. It's gonna wanna swing around just below there so you can see it's starting to fill now. So it's filled up. And then you pull it out and you want to be really careful that there's no air bubbles on that swing arm pointing to where you're at and as you can see just like this meter it's reading 0.3 which is a percentage as opposed to parts per thousand which i prefer but that's what they have printed on here so this is very simple and easy to use there's nothing really that can break and the most important things just make sure there's no bubbles on that swing arm so you're getting an accurate reading and with any tool that you're putting at the water when you're done with it you just dump the water out i always like to take and rinse it with fresh water from the tap just to make sure it's clean same with these the metal probes rinse them at the tap and then leave them out to dry and then they're ready for, to use for the next time so that's how you check your salinity